I'm just too lavish. 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 Then I hit her with the shlama. Shawty say she like my country grammar. Then I pour the lean into the fountain. Welcome to the Young Millionaire's Mind. It's your boy Shot and today I'm here with the owner of Messiah Clothing. I want to welcome you to the Young Millionaire's Mind. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Mark with Messiah Clothing, CEO and founder. I'm with my boy Shy on the Young Millionaires. Hey, so what made you decide to become a fashion designer? Uh, honestly, it's crazy. We really how I came up with the whole idea of Messiah and the clothing. All that happened off of I was on a flight back home to Cali. Mm -hmm. I was drinking Chardonnay. Fell asleep, woke up at the, the little pit stop in between in Charlotte, had the whole idea. So what is so what does that get the Messiah mean? Messiah actually stands for royalty, so it's a fictitious, a fictitious name. That means royalty, essentially the one, something special. Mm -hmm. Something I kind of took from my late grandmother, rest in peace, grandma, love you. Uh, she always told me I was royalty, always going to be the one, so I kind of fused it together and made something happen out of it. That's a dope meaning behind that. And so what's the best part about being a fashion designer? Really, I don't know. Best part, uh, it would have to be one, just the connections I make. So the networking I make, I hang out with a lot of celebrity friends now, a lot of celebrity homies, endorses, uh, the perks. When I go to clubs and stuff, I really don't pay at all. Mm -hmm. I just, I get to get in. Um, and then, I don't know too, I like the reaction I get when people see my styles and stuff. So mm -hmm. just even, like when you were saying, it's a lot of stuff you've seen, I got is dope. Like just hearing that, mm -hmm. that is getting more motivation to keep going and everything. So those are some of the perks that I could say from. Mm -hmm. So let's name drop for a minute. Who exactly has purchased some of your clothing? Purchased it? Uh, I mean, I got, I get like 20, 30 sales a week. So I mean, I got a lot of, I got a pretty good fan base right now. As far as celebrity wise who purchased it, I don't really charge any of the celebrities. They got they just endorse it for me for free, kinda of mutual thing back and forth. I don't pay them for it, they don't they ain't charging them for it. But as far as like celebrity endorses I got, I got King Louie, I got Dro, uh, Young Dro, uh, mm -hmm. I got London J, I got Charlie Rothstein, I got Fro, Neil Randolph, uh, I got Flocker, I got Chaz Guy, mm -hmm. uh Sha Santiago, Lil Mouse, uh, Antonio Breeze. Malachi, uh, Fly Guy DC. Mm -hmm, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. It's a long list of people. Shout out to Bree. She she's a new endorser too for the female line. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of people. It's a, it's a long list. Trap, mm -hmm. Trap Ardo, mm -hmm. um, Nico Suave. <laughs> the, the list go. That's a pretty impressive list. So how did you go about getting in contact with all these people? Uh, various ways. So. Pretty much I got in contact with everybody through social media. Either they seen something they like and hit me up or vice versa. I hit them up and then we chopped it up from there and they made something happen or just through different connections and stuff that I have. Uh, might have met them at the studio, might have met them at a party. Mm -hmm. um, like that's how I got Nick Cannon. I got, oh yeah, that's another one. Oh. Yeah, like Nick Cannon, you know. Uh, he a homie too. He from the same hood as me, from San Diego. So I met him though. Actually, again, through a party mm -hmm. that was happening at the opera. So just different connects like that is how I've been pushing and moving to where I got to so far as far as like the endorsements and everything I've been getting. So as you're going on creating these different designs, are you doing like custom work with some of these people or are they just coming to your website and y'all like your work? Let me get that. It's actually for the most part been, they just been rocking exactly what I've been putting out. Mm -hmm. But recently, I actually been venturing into doing some collab things. So actually, I just did a Messiah by London J shirt for his new upcoming project, Ambition, which I need to go cop that. Uh, I also doing one right now. I'm working on with Fly Guy DC. We're working on something. Got some heat cooking for him. And then uh, I also got a few more coming out, probably for Young Dro and some of the other guys. So I do got something in the works where we're doing some collab, some collab features. But mostly. All the celeb endorsements and stuff I've been having, they just been rocking the gear straight up, straight up. So what's the inspiration behind the design that you're coming up with? It could be a little bit of everything. It's kind of like how a musician, all their songs are kind of different. It's kind of the way they feel at the time, what mood they feel at the time. It's kind of, I use Photoshop in my designs as, you know, my music. So mm -hmm. 
whatever mood I'm in, that kind of reflects what type of design I put out. Like, I was in a, a very aggressive mood when I made that Savage shirt. Like, right. no fucks given. That's, mm -hmm. that's the model behind that. But then I got other shirts that's a little bit more subtle. I got a koi fish shirt that represents, like, Japanese uh, culture and stuff. You know, I'm kind of into that. I like, I, I like Japanese culture. So mm -hmm. all the shirts at the end of the day gives you a spill of my personality, but it also just determines what mood I'm in, how I make it. So I don't go into thinking or stressing like, hey, yeah, I got to make this certain type of design or trying to mimic or worry about what everybody else got going on in their lane. We're doing clothes. I just mm -hmm. focus on my lane and then make what I like, send it out to a few homies yeah. and get their opinion on it and then boom, put it in the works. So what's the price point for, for your t-shirts right now? Uh, prices for the shirts, they vary. Uh, I think the lowest shirt I have on there right now is about like 30 bucks. Most expensive one um, is like 45 mm -hmm. Uh, right now, some of the newest stuff coming out, I got one shirt that's like 60. Mm -hmm. um, cruise hoodies, they're like 60, 75. Jeans, you know, they're going to be about 60, anywhere from 60 to 100 dollars. So, mm -hmm. price varies. I mean, it ain't the cheapest clothes out there, but right. the quality that you get, the size you get, the look you get, I mean, I feel like it's worth it. So, I'm confident I stand behind it. I've been seeing success with it. Mm -hmm. so. so, speaking to the quality of the shirt that you use, how do you go about finding what material are you going to use for your, your t shirts? Uh, I actually go around, I actually hand pick the styles I want, and then I actually send them off for my production team to actually go ahead and make. So I actually get to feel the quality of the shirts hands on. I try to typically go for like those Jersey Cotton shirts, the shirts that go and kind of hug you, feel real good. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of what's in, that kind of what people like. So I go for that, and then also uh, uh, with the jeans and everything, same thing, go through. I actually try on all the clothes and stuff before I do it, because if I don't like the way it feel on me, I'm not going to feel confident selling it to somebody else. So. I make sure the, the quality of standard is up to my liking before I even put it out to somebody because I wouldn't want nobody to sell me, I don't know if I cut, but I don't want nobody to sell me bullshit yeah. for 60, 70 bucks yeah. and it's bullshit whereas, you know, I, I feel confident selling someone or a shirt for 30, 40, 40, 50 bucks depending on what style of shirts they want. Mm -hmm. And also the price comes from depending on the style of the shirt, how, how I actually like it myself once it's actually done and printed. Mm -hmm. um, and then all the groundwork behind it because every shirt comes with custom gold tags mm -hmm. such as this right here so they all have little custom gold tags on them okay. kind of stands out so it's like my signature so if it ain't gold tag popping it ain't it ain't real mm -hmm. so that's just kind of how you can keep up with it so i put all that into uh, perspective when doing my pricing mm -hmm. so you've been having your clothing line popping for about a year now so what's been the process like going from having this initial idea of your clothing line to actually bringing it to like and getting people to actually support you uh, that process has been quick, but um, essentially, I did all my paperwork first. So I got everything done, squared with the government first. So I got my LLC, I got all my licenses in, my wholesale, resale license, everything, website, domain, all the copyrights. I did all that first. That Smart. took me. Smart. That took me a couple months. Um, then after I did that, I just have a hustling ambition. So I just got out there with it. Rubbed up two designs real quick, ordered a whole bunch of them, called up my homies Nike Smiles down in Florida. Mm -hmm. We did a shoot real quick. Uh, that was my first shoot, it was just me and my homie Wilk. We, we shot it up real quick, posted on the Instagram, and then from there just kind of winged it. Started to catch a little buzz with it. Uh, then I actually ended up leaving Florida. I went up, I went up north to D.C. Mm -hmm. Then that's where I kind of started plugging in with people on social media. Got plugged in with Mouse. Mouse did a video. He dropped a soft shirt and uh, his video sharing clothes. Mm -hmm. He had got like, I think like 300,000 views off of that, something like that. And then uh, from there, from Mouse and King Louis, uh, Louis really was the first person to wear my clothes as a celebrity. Mm -hmm. But then Mouse was the first uh, one to put it in his video. Um, but then after that, it just it was like month after month, different people was endorsing it, different people were jumping on the way. And then I moved to Atlanta. I got a lot of family here. We really moved here for family reasons, but then just started pumping the clothes through the streets of Atlanta, started to get hot, kind of buzz. Uh, met my homie Fly Guy DC, and then from there, me and him just been doing it. So who did you want to wear your clothes when you first came up? Because everybody had that person that they want to wear their clothes to the tail out that gets in that stuff. Well, who was that one person? I honestly didn't. I didn't have, I didn't start making clothes being like, oh, I want Trey Songz, or I want Chris Brown, or somebody to wear my mm -hmm. clothes. Like, that way, that ain't my motive. I, I want whoever the fuck with my clothes to wear my clothes. Yeah. So. That's, that's exactly what I was on, that's exactly what I'm still on, that's exactly what I'm going to be on. Mm -hmm. 
have a big idea, it's gonna be whoever fuck with my clothes, fuck with my clothes. It ain't gonna be a I'm specifically trying to make a style that I know so and such and such like to try to get such and such to wear. I I don't I don't really too much care about that. So aside from yourself, who would you want to represent your brand? Besides for myself, who I want to represent my brand, uh, I mean, if I was to, like step down from the brand or something, like who I want to hand it over you to, you know, you or? just handle straight business. Like somebody, you know, I'm gonna pay you to work my clothes. I, mean, I want you to be the person to get everybody wearing my stuff. Who oh, would that one person. I would have to be my homie Fly Guy DC. I mean, he he a hustler too. So mm -hmm. if he wasn't doing his radio thing, had his show and stuff popping, it would probably be him. I'd be like, I, I would trust him to like, oh, okay, go out, go get it. Uh, I ain't got to worry about I can sit back and do the behind the scenes stuff and I know he's going to make it pop still, so it had to be him. And so what does the future hold for my sign club? <laughs> the future bright, man. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of stuff cooking right now. I got a lot of stuff cooking right now. Um, 24th of this month, I'm going to have the online boutique drop. I got a lot of dope styles for the females. Uh, I might have the actual sign branded stuff dropping for the females as well. Been going to be knocking out a lot of shoots. Uh, I mean, the sign's gonna go up uh, by the end of this year. It's gonna be a semi-common household name. I think people are gonna really, really understand, really gonna know it. I'm gonna just take it to a whole nother level. I got a couple sweepstakes and giveaways that's cooking up that's gonna be dropping throughout this year where people can win $1,000 cash prizes and everything. So, future look real bright asking me. I wish you the best of success. I wish you the best of luck, and I I see the, the future for you. Cause right now I was just checking out your stuff. Everything is dope. So how can the world get in contact with you on social media? Man, where well, you can get in contact with me, follow the brand first at Masai Clothing. It's M A H S Y I A N Clothing. Also follow me on Twitter at Masai. And then if you want to follow me personally, it's Mark with Masai. Uh, so those are all the ways you can get in contact with me. Anybody who wants to work with me, just shoot me either a DM or you can email me at messianclothing at gmail. And then we can we can get from there and try to put something to work to get a cookie. I'm always looking for younger uh, entrepreneurs as well who's looking to get their clothes out. I want to be that platform. So I'm more than just a brand. That's the reason why I'm doing the online boutique as well, to open up and be a platform for other people who got styles. But having trouble going through that groundwork and stuff to try to get popping or, you know, catch some steam behind their name. You know, we can cut deals and stuff where I still, I'll sell your stuff under the moniker and assign clothing and still tag you in and you get the credit for it and everything. But it allows you to put yourself on a platform to get other people wearing your stuff. But I already kind of got the following. Yeah, well, you most definitely got my support, so I'll be shopping with you pretty soon. But if you want to get in contact yeah. with me, you can reach my Instagram and Twitter at BlameOnShot. Make sure you check out the blog at Young Man Esmond on Instagram. And don't forget to check out the website, www.youngmanesmond.com. I'm just too lavish. 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 Then I hit her with the slammer. Shawty say she like my country grammar.